So you want to condition your shins so you can do something like this. Or this. We'll stick around and I'll show you exactly how. What's up, pro fighter Sean Fagan here in the land of smiles, Thailand at my home in Copangan Island. And I want to go over five ways that you can condition your shins, whether you're a martial artist, not moi, or you just want to condition your shins for some weird ass reason. But before we get into that aspect, I want to clear the air because I know people are going to be like, Oh my god, the poor tree. You kicked the poor tree down. What did he do to you? Or they'll say, Those trees aren't even hard to kick down, bro. Anybody can do that, even a child. So first things first, I was asked to kick down that tree. We were at a Muay Thai retreat in Costa Rica that I host, and they were replanting the trees, okay? So they wanted new trees up because they were all out of bananas, and so they asked me to kick it down. They thought it would be a good video, so that's why I did it. So get over it! And two, yeah, those trees are easier to kick down than you would think. Yeah, I said it. There you go. All right, so let's get into the tips, shall we? Tip number one, this is the most important tip. You must know this. Your shins are always gonna hurt They're just always gonna hurt. No matter what you do, no matter how many times you fight or condition your shins or kick the heavy bag or bang rolling pins on your shins. Brought to you by MKA Sports. <sighs> nice, let's get a facial expression. There it goes. <laughs> oh my god. They will always hurt, okay? There's no magic pill. There's no magic thing that you can do to make the pain go away. You can't completely deaden all the nerves in your shin. If you kick someone else's shin or elbow or head, it's gonna hurt your shin. That's just the way human beings are made, okay? So the first and most important tip is you just got to accept the fact that shin on shin contact is always going to hurt. Fighting is always going to hurt. You're in Muay Thai, so get used to the pain. Tip number two, kick the heavy bag over and over and over and over and over and over and over again for the rest of your goddamn life. Repetition is key, and like I said, there's no magic pill to it. You just gotta be beating the heavy bag up every single day. It does help if you kick the bottom of the heavy bag, because that's usually where all the weight kind of uh, settles down to. But after you kick the heavy bag a bunch of times, your shins are gonna hurt, okay? And so you gotta take a day or two off, make sure you recover them, and then get right back to it and kick the heavy bag again. It's as simple as that. Tip number three, run. No running, no Muay Thai. Now the thought behind this, or the philosophy behind this, is the more you run, right, the more impact that's going to be on your shins, and it creates micro fractures, so this way it's kind of beating down your shins. But when you let them heal, they come back that much stronger and they kind of get reinforced. And so the ties do it, they run pretty much every single day when they train for a fight, so there's got to be something behind it, right? And the whole idea of shin splints, it is the micro fractures in your shin. So it's going to hurt for a while, especially if you're just getting into the sport and you're just starting to run. You're going to have to kind of ease your way into it and know how to take care of your shins, which leads me to tip number four. Heal your shins. Treat your shins. Know how to take care of your shins. Your shins are going to be battered and bruised throughout your entire Muay Thai journey. And like I said, you're going to have to get used to it. But there are ways that you can minimize the damage and make sure that if you're kicking the heavy bag and you need to get back into training the next day but your shins hurt, you should be taking care of them. So I'm gonna go over just a couple quick ways that you can take care of them. The first way you can heal your shin or treat your shin is you get a thing of hot water. I believe this is called a bowl, a bowl of hot water. You dip, I mean like, like really hot water, like almost boiling hot, like where it touches the skin and it hurts a little bit. You dip this in. And once you dip it in, you press it on your shin on the spot that hurts and kind of rub it down, okay? You can also do the same thing. This is my trainer, Bao. He gives me the, these like glass bottles right here, fills it with boiling hot water, and then I use this to push against my shin, all right? And that's supposed to help kind of flush the liquid out and help uh, break up the, the muscle tissue and whatnot. If you want a little bit more in-depth how to recover your shins, 
uh, Sylvie, who has over 200 fights, a friend of mine, and uh, just overall badass. She's made a couple videos that I would highly recommend checking out. Other than that, ibuprofen, anti-inflammatory cream, and all that kind of stuff is going to be super key for uh, helping with your shins and just overall nutrition. I'm trying to make a video here, Sway. Jeez, so inconsiderate. And last but not least, you want to spar and fight. That's the name of the game, right? So you have to make sure that you're putting in the work and you're putting in the competition, whether it's in the gym or in the ring. You always want to be sparring. You always want to be trying to fight if you're a competitor. So this way your shins and your entire body can just get used to the impact that comes in the territory of sparring or fighting. Now, like I said, I've had over 30 fights and my shins still hurt like a mother after I fight, okay? Like every single time I fight. But the only times that they haven't is when I place my kicks right, I set them up, and I uh, have the right timing when it comes down to it as well, okay? So it's not so much like about shin conditioning when it comes to not hurting your shins in a fight. It's about placing your kicks the right way, setting them up so this way you're not kicking someone's elbows or shins or any other parts of the body that might hurt. But like I said, even ties who have hundreds of fights, their shins still get beat up after fights and whatnot. Maybe not as much as myself or other people who are just starting in the game. But, like, fighting hurts. Kicking hurts. Just get used to it. But like I said, the more you condition your shins, the less they'll hurt. And the more you'll get used to just the impact and the pain. So it just comes down to repetition and consistency over long periods of time.